Alrighty, folks, it is Go Daddy Dave here, back at you again. And I have noticed that there are a lot of questions out there on the internet, and I wanted to get these answered. One of them being that learn YouTube for advertising. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I would uh, learn YouTube for advertising or how I would actually advertise on YouTube. So you will be able to learn how to advertise on YouTube. Um, the trend on YouTube video or the trend YouTube videos. Uh, that's what I did here as I looked to see um, what the questions were, um, what the top questions were, what the top search terms were on Google. And that led me to this video. Um, so this is a YouTube marketing video. I'm marketing uh, my YouTube channel. As a matter of fact, if you want to go ahead and subscribe, if this is valuable to you, actually, even if it's not valuable to you, I, it would be valuable to me to subscribe to my channel. So I appreciate that. Um, but what we're going to do here today is we're going to learn YouTube for advertising. Okay. And we're also going to do that with a PowerPoint presentation because that is also one of the top questions is, um, how do you use YouTube and a PowerPoint presentation? Uh, so we're going to do that both. So what I've done here is I've set up the PowerPoint presentation. Okay. And we're going to go into that now. So if we just kind of scroll here, you'll see that we set up this next slide. Um, so the PowerPoint presentation is not hard to set up. You can set it up using uh, free options such as OneDrive, which is what I use. I'll put a link down into the bottom of the video. Um, also, if this PowerPoint is a live PowerPoint and you're actually on the PowerPoint presentation itself, uh, you can also click anywhere that you see where I'm uh, creating uh, PowerPoint or PDF or something like that. Okay, so here's what we've got. We've got know your goal. Okay, you're going to know your goal for the advertising, um, for what, what, what your plan is. You're going to do your research. It's very important. You're going to collect or create assets such as PDF files, infographics, images, and things like that. You're going to do the actual recording. So you're going to record. You're also going to upload and rank your video. So when you do that, you're going to try to um, use the algor algorithm and you're going to do ranking uh, for YouTube. You're going to use keywords and things like that. And then you're going to follow up and tweak the video. Okay. So let's get right on into it. So first, know your goal. Okay. What is it that you want to accomplish with your video? Um, you've got to have a very clear goal whenever it's it comes time for you to uh, start recording. Uh, you want to be a little bit prepared unless your audience is the type that they want you to just simply go off the cuff so that they can see that you're very authentic. Um, sometimes that works either way for a lot of folks, uh, for a lot of different channels. So, um, so you do want to have some goals. I'll put some goals here just to kind of get your to brainstorming. It says here, um, you may want to educate your audience. You may, may want to create a brand awareness. Uh, you may have an event that you want to promote. Uh, you may just be looking to collect emails so that you can get back in touch with your audience later. Um, you may be looking to make a sale or do a promotion. Um, you may be uh, looking to do direct sales. So just one-on-one -on -one sales. So it just depends on what your goal is um, on on what your video or it's very important excuse me let me refer let me say that again so it's not that it depends but it's very important that you clarify what your goal is before you start with the video um, so that not only you know and you can uh, act accordingly or create the video accordingly but also so that your audience knows okay so choose your goal and focus okay so again here what we're doing is we're learning YouTube advertising so this video is advertising how to learn YouTube advertising but at the same time it's advertising my channel right so my channel is GoDaddy Dave we also are a live marketing agency and um, so but what we are doing is just simply advertising this channel because we're new on the YouTube platform right um, we're really good at what we do but we're brand new to the YouTube platform um, so we would love for you to uh, subscribe down to our channel also uh, if you like this video if it comes in helpful so let's go in, we're going into the next one and that's to do your research okay so your video must bring value to your intended client so your client no matter what business you're in rather you're in banking or if you're selling subway sandwiches it doesn't matter what 
what business that you're in, you always want to bring value to your client. And when you bring value to your client, what's going to happen is that client is going to learn to trust you because you're not just in it for yourself. You also found a way to bring value without taking dollars from the client. So it's very important that you bring value to your client. Okay. Um, and then it's, uh, it's important that you do your research. So in order to bring the value, right, you have to do your research uh, prior to. You have to, you have to know who your competition is. You have to know um, what keywords are your clients searching for so that you can actually get in touch with that client so that you can deliver the value. Um, you have to know who that client is. So you want to be able to target your audience so you're not just simply sending out a cast net and getting, you know, just hoping that you get something. You're actually uh, looking at your audience, your specific audience, you're determining what their problems are. And then if you have the ability to solve that problem, you're solving that problem for your charge. Um, and that's the value that you're bringing. That's where they learn to trust you. That's where the relationship is grown. And that's how that, um, that your following begins to follow you. Um, that's when they start to buy your products and things like that because they begin to trust you. It's, it's just the way things are in everyday life. You know, once we trust somebody, um, it's a lot easier for us to believe what it is they're saying, and it's a lot easier for us to take the recommendations, right? And then even past that, it's who we start to look to for recommendations. Okay, so do your research, know your keywords, know your competition, know your target audience, and focus on trends. And when I say focus on trends, I don't necessarily mean just do what is hot. I mean, look at what, you, what your offering is, and then look what trends are going on you can use uh, tools such as a uh, google trends um, i think is the best one um, you can also just kind of keep your ears open right just listen as you go back and forth uh, on facebook or if you still listen to the news or to the radio or things like that to podcast you will notice that the uh, a lot of those channels are talking about the same things so if you're if you have your eyes peeled and you ha and you're paying attention to what's going on you will see um, start to notice trends and then you can make your content relevant to those trends. Okay. Um, you don't always have to be selling. As a matter of fact, they say that the rule is 80, 20. So 80% of the time, don't sell anything, just, um, deliver value and connect with your client. Okay. And then, uh, let's see from there, just to, let me just recap that. So, so your video must bring the value. So your, 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 uh, your YouTube advertising, your YouTube advertisement, your YouTube video that you're advertising to your clients with, it must bring value, okay? So make sure that you do that first. When you bring value, as you've heard, I'm sure by this point in your journey, content is king. So make sure that you bring value, okay? Make sure you do your research so that you can bring the right value. Make sure you know which keywords that you're going to use. Um, make sure that you determine the competition and what they're doing. Just simply uh, get inspiration from those guys. Um, make sure that you know who your audience is and make sure that you target them. And at the same time, um, pay attention to what trends are going, uh, going on in the world and see if you can stay on topic. Okay. When you do your keyword, keyword research, I have it over here in the little bubble, you will see what exactly people are searching, where it's trending, who is competing and who is consuming as it relates to your offer. So these things are very important. And you know what, I'm gonna put this all in a PDF file and I'm gonna put it right down in the in the uh, comments down there. And also you'll be able to find a copy of that on our website at um, godaddydave.com. So that's godaddydave.com, godaddydave.com. And if you just scroll down, I think it's close to the bottom. Uh, we just have a single file PDF and it's there for the taking, uh, free of charge. Just go there, download it, and we appreciate you guys. Um, a whole lot. So uh, let's get into step three. You'll see here you want to collect or create your assets. Just kind of like what I was just telling you guys about with our PDF file um, that's going to be, there's there's a link to our website down in the, the comp, um, down the description and I, maybe in the first comment too. I think that maybe where's another one. So in the first comment in the description um, it's talking or that's where our PDF link is, right? So um, when you're adding uh, when you're collecting or creating these assets, you want to think about uh, what's going to go into your video. So these things may be other videos, right, that you 
are going to use clips from. They may be um, the PDF file or a giveaway of some sort, right? So that you can see what people are interested in and um, what percentage of folks actually like those type of things, get more feedback. You may want an infographic. You may want affiliate links. Um, you may want, uh, of course, you're going to want images, you're going to want audio files, um, you're going to want video clips, again, training videos, you're going to want PowerPoint presentations, PPTs, just like what this is, right? So this is just another way to create the visual. Uh, as you see in this video, my, we're, we're not even doing a face-to-face, -face really. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not that kind of a camera day for us, So, but we're able to still put this video together. As a matter of fact, we're even doing it on our phone because um, we've run into, uh, anyway, we've run into just a couple obstacles along the way. I'm sure that we'll elaborate on that in the future or in future videos. It's a little bit embarrassing, um, but we have run into some obstacles, but we're not going to let those get in the way of providing value to our clients too and providing videos that um, people are going to want to see. Um, and again, stay all the way to the end. We're almost done now, um, but this is a really, really good video. I'm going to put the um, in the description. You'll be able to get to the PDF, so you'll have something that's tangible. Uh, and so, and we're not, you know, you don't have to put in your email. You don't have to do anything like that. Although we do value your email, so if you want to drop your email to us, there's a many, many different ways that you can do it. While you're at the website, GoDaddyDave.com, you could put. Um, we we have a, a subscribe slot there so it's really simple if you do want to drop your email but there's no requirement you can simply pick up the pdf for free on the website and let's see here so our next step step number four right you're going to record the video this is probably the most fun part um and not necessarily the most important uh, part but it is a lot of fun so make sure that you guys enjoy this part um put some excitement in there you know just let let your audience know that this is fun to you you know just just have fun with it you know if you want to um, get some other folks in there some some people into your video uh, you know that you're creating for your YouTube advertising uh, just just do that and have fun and just show that you're human and just enjoy this part because it's really really fun now there are some technical things that you want to pay attention to um, but you also want to make sure that you have fun okay and if you do something wrong the first time, most things just go ahead and publish anyway. But if it's just something that you can't live with, just do another one. It only normally takes just a few minutes to do a video, a good video. Um, so don't be shy. Just the way that uh, one thing that we say all the time is we say, um, make the video, but just make the next one better. Okay, so that's that's the way I look at it. So. Get something on there, right? Get your video made, get it uploaded, and the next time do it better, right? So always get better with each one that you put, and that's the only real rule that you have to follow. Put something up now, and next time make it better, right? And then if you do that every time, you'll always be getting better, and your audience will absolutely love it. Here's a few tips. So we want to speak clearly. These are a few of the technical things that we want to pay attention to, right? We want to speak clearly. We want to turn off the background noise when it's possible. This isn't a, 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 break, a make or break kind of deal. Uh, you don't have to turn off background noise. If, you're, if you have to get the video out, get the video out, right? If you've got content that you think is important to your readers or to your uh, viewers or to your audience, um, get that content to them, you know? So just because you have background noise is not a deal breaker, but if you have an opportunity, turn off the background noise, okay? Um, be energetic, be entertaining, state your goals clearly, and call your viewers to action, right? So, and like with this video, you guys are learning to make a YouTube advertising. But what I am advertising at the same time is if this value, if, if this content, this free content that I'm providing to you about making a YouTube advertising is valuable, I would like for you to become a, a subscriber to the channel, right? To GoDaddy Dave. Uh, even as you progress or if uh, you are you find that you're not really great at YouTube advertising we're also an active marketing agency so we do social media and SEO marketing we also do video marketing uh, we're just getting going on this platform as you can see um, but I think we've got kind of a knack for it so um, we would love for you to be our client as a uh, just as a marketer but first why we're doing this the whole reason is so that we can provide value where value was needed and the need was uh, one of the main uh, searches on the on Google is 
people want to learn YouTube advertising. So this is one of the ways that you can do YouTube advertising is with a PowerPoint presentation that you speak over as you're creating a video, right? And you attach your PDF to. So you answer questions that people need and you do it as thoroughly as you can, right? And that's what I'm doing here, okay? Okay, from there, what you wanna do, especially on YouTube, is you wanna upload and you want to rank your video so you upload it but then you're going to might want to rank it and the way that you rank that video is with keywords and seo strategies okay so you want to make sure that your title is keyword rich you want to make sure that you use um, your main keywords in the first uh, two lines of your description right okay and then you want to make sure that you your content inside of your um, your description is keyword rich also so you're going to put the tags down below or your keywords down below in the keyword box right and then you're going to take those keywords and you're going to write content around those keywords using those keywords right and you want it to be as clear as possible you don't want it to sound like you're just trying to use keywords and you don't know what you're talking about you absolutely want to know what you're talking about or your audience will know that you have no clue okay so you want to make sure that you're you stay on topic that you use your keywords but you do it as human as humanly readable as possible or humanly understandable don't do it as you're speaking to a computer even though a computer will be looking at it to give you ranking okay so it is important that you use your keywords but that you use them naturally okay so you want to rank the video um, one of the softwares that almost every creator uses is vidIQ. Now, we'll put a link down at the bottom if you guys want to use the vidIQ or you want to try a free trial. We have that down there. Um, and that's, that's one of the ways that we talk about the affiliate links. Remember I mentioned earlier affiliate links? So the vidIQ is one of our affiliate links. So if you do use it, we will end up getting paid a small commission on that. Or who knows, maybe it's a large commission. It really just depends on how you look at it. Um, so... That's, that's what we were talking about earlier when we were saying getting your affiliate links together. So when you use something, other folks that are interested in the information that you provide, they also would like to use that something too in, in a lot of cases. Or they would least, least like the opportunity to go and look into um, the things that you use. So that's the way that you provide your affiliate links. That's the way that you can make additional money on the things that you're already doing. So like in this case, again, when we go to provide value, because we see that there's a need, right? Because we Googled it, we wondered what was Google, what were people asking Google? And one of the top questions is, um, people want to learn YouTube advertising. So we decided to create a video on how to advertise on YouTube by advertising what we want to advertise, and that's to get subscribers for our channel on YouTube, right? And the way that we're doing that is, well, we won't go through the whole list now, but you guys see where it all connects, right? Um, let's talk about the ranking. I've pointed out a few things to us. So you want to use relevant and trending keywords. We've talked about that a time or two, but it's very important, right? So you want to be relevant to your audience. You want to see what they're talking about or what's trending, right? And you want to um, provide your content in those, in that, in those parameters, right? Um, you want to use the keywords in your title. You want to repeat the keywords in the first sentence, right? The first two lines. That's the same thing that's going to appear in Google, right? Um, if you were to go look at Google, you see you have your title and then the description, right? So it's going to be the same thing. Whenever your YouTube video appears in Google, it's going to have a title and then that same description. Um, see here, you want to add your main offer. Uh, link right there so just after you do that description you want to go ahead and give people an opportunity to take the offer right so they want to come here and if you have an offer you want to give them a chance to take the offer um, you want to uh, let's see here you want to have your first line oh yeah you have your offer in the first line of your description you want to add keywords in the keyword box so there's a box down there at the bottom in in uh, YouTube to where you want to add your keywords into the keyword box um, and you'll probably I'll probably be able to edit it all together to where you guys can see me whenever I take this one and then I put the description and everything into YouTube you'll be able to see actually exactly how I do it in real time or maybe in fast forward if it's really long because I'm a slow typer um, but we're gonna get it done today and um, you guys will be able to see at least how I do it and then you'll even be able to watch this video as it gains traction in YouTube um, about the 
how, uh, teaching people how to, or yeah, teaching people about YouTube advertising. So um, from there, you want to write your content using all of the keywords in the keyword box. So I described that earlier. You want to use ranking software like VidIQ is the most most common. Use whatever software that you like. That's just the one that we that I've come across that may change in my journey, but so far I think they're really great. Um, I think it's it, it does amazing things that you can't do without any software. Let me just put it that way, and it's absolutely it's free for you know for uh, for the beginning stages or what have you. And I haven't even moved to the paid uh, part of it, and I still love it. So um, the link is right there or down in the description if you guys want to take a look at VidIQ. Um, and again, the, here, here's where I, what I was telling you guys earlier. I got the little box over here to the right, right? And it says, try your best the first time and get better every time, right? So do what you can do and get better at it next time. That's it. Put something up there and then get better. Just remember, especially at the beginning of your journey, that's where, you know, a lot of the videos on YouTube from us are. We know that they may not be great, but we know down the road 10 years, whenever we're telling folks, hey, look, look at our first videos, they're going to become more valuable then, right? We know we don't plan on giving up, so we know that we're going to be here for those videos to be 10 years old. And no matter what stage we are, it'll be, you know, very easy to refer back to those videos and say, hey, look, this is where we came from and this is where we are today. Um, and that'll make it easy for folks to relate, right? Makes sense. So, and if this that's you and, you know, it is 2023 or it's 2025, hello from... 2019 whenever we were just getting started here on youtube thanks for watching our videos we really appreciate that and you see things do stay relevant even in 2025 or 2029 wherever you guys are all right um step number five you want to follow up and tweak the videos right so it's already been up there um the video has or hasn't gotten traction what have you you know it's 30 days old 60 days old 90 days old you want to go back and revisit it because i imagine that you have learned so many things or so much during that 30 60 90 days since you posted your first video that you have now learned different tips tricks um, techniques and things like that that you want to go back and implement and when you make your video better your video will get additional views and it'll get better ranking Okay, so you want to follow up and tweak those videos. So when I say tweak, you're going to want to make a good, a good thumbnail right off the bat. But if you didn't, go back and make one now. Okay, um, the same way with your keywords. If you find that you that keywords are changed or people are saying things differently to uh, get to the same type of video or the same answers that you provide in your YouTube advertising video, what you want to do is you want to go back and um, change those headlines, change that description to where it's relevant to what your audience is saying now and how they're saying it. Okay, so you want to follow up and tweak your video. Uh, let's just see what we have here in the box. We have look at the ranking software suggestions. Of course, use the software uh, to your advantage. We're not as smart as what it is. We miss things that it sees. And if we just follow those steps, um, that automatically puts us steps ahead of the people that don't follow the steps, right? And then as we grow, we'll learn to um, see things and recognize things that we also add in that'll help us to stand out above the crowd. Um, first things first, if we provide the value, our audience will respect that value and they will continue to be our audience and they will actually um, become interactive and tell us exactly what it is that they're looking for, okay? Um, so you want to implement the ranking software suggestions. So when it tells you to do something, just do it. It may seem simple to you, but it really matters or it wouldn't be telling you, especially if it is a respected um, software. Uh, you want to look at YouTube Studio Analytics. This is important. So you going to want to go back and see what's working. What are people searching for? Um, how are they finding your videos? And you want to repeat those same tactics. So if somebody is finding your video for XYZ keyword phrase, you want to make sure that XYZ keyword phrase is um, is where you're targeting, right? So you want to go back to XYZ keyword phrase and make sure that it's in your title, in your description, in your keywords. Um, and you also maybe want to consider making new content about that same XYZ keyword phrase, right? Make sense? Okay, so use your YouTube analytics and then again, repeat what's working, okay? 
This is how you do YouTube uh, advertising. This is how you advertise on YouTube. This is even how you use a PowerPoint presentation uh, to make a video on YouTube. This is one way that you can keep your video, your face out of videos on YouTube is to uh, use one of these PowerPoint presentations. Um, you know, so let's just recap one more time. Okay, so when you're doing YouTube for advertising, you want to know your goal. Okay, you want to do your research. You want to collect or create your assets, such as PDF files, infographics, pictures, images, things like that, uh, content that you've written. <coughs> Excuse me. You want to actually record the video. You want to upload and rank your video. So you don't just want to upload it, but you also want to do all the things, um, writing the description, making sure the title is correct, making sure that the title is catchy making sure that your keywords are used properly, making sure that you're targeting the correct audience, making sure that you're answering the right pain uh, a problem for them, making sure that you're providing value. Um, so you wanna upload and you wanna rank your video, and then you wanna follow up and tweak the video. That last one, maybe it's not the most important, but it may be the most overlooked. It is a good way for you to easily double and triple your views just by making sure that you're following up and making it better. Okay, remember to do your best the first time and then just get better every time after. Okay, folks, if you've liked this video, do me a favor, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. It's gonna be down below. Normally it's to the bottom left, but subscribe to our channel and, and uh, follow what we do. Uh, we provide value like this oftentimes to our clients or to our, our viewers, our subscribers. Uh, we also provide value to our clients. We are an active marketing agency. Um, we do local SEO. We also do traditional SEO. Uh, we do social media advertising and uh, ads for our clients. Uh, we have never returned less than 2X to a client. Um, so we would love to uh, talk to you and see if we can help in that, in that way. Um, but for the YouTube, uh, our subs YouTube subscribers, we also provide for you guys, we provide uh, free marketing hacks. We do uh, free Facebook ad tips. We also do insider secrets, such as what we're doing right now on how to uh, advertise on YouTube, right? Just absolutely free. And then we also do uh, how to's, which is what we're doing now. So this is one of the insider secrets is, um, you know, you can use PowerPoint presentations. You can make sure that you use all of your um, assets or you create assets for your viewers. Um, and that's what we're doing now um, and in this how-to video. And it is how-to, right? Right there at the top, how-to YouTube for advertising, right? That's what we're doing. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, for now, what we're going to do, I can... I may cut the video right here, or I may just let it keep rolling, and so you guys can see what I'm going to do now as I'm uploading this video to YouTube. All right, I will talk to you later, and I am GoDaddy Dave. Uh, we're right at a half hour, so we'll see what happens. It may end up being an hour, so if you're going to stick along, let's just ride on into it, and let's do our description uh, for YouTube, and let's do our keywords, okay? So let's move right along okay okay let's go so i think i have to stop this that is what i'm gonna have to do so what i'm gonna have to do folks is i'm gonna have to stop this one so that i can put it into the upload and then i'm gonna have to create a video number two so there will be two videos in this series um I hope you stayed along till the end. So there are two videos now in this series. And the second video in this series is going to be the way that I put the description or my actual upload to um, YouTube. Okay. So I'm going to get out of here. I am out of here, guys. Go Daddy Dave. I appreciate you watching this um, longer video from us. We are at 30 minutes, almost 28 and a half. So I do appreciate you guys staying along. Uh, once again, go Daddy Dave. Make sure that you come along to the second video where I show you how we do the description uh, and we do all the SEO um, that we know how to do so that we can rank this video so that you guys can see it. All right, go Daddy Dave. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.